to be on. Great, thank you. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you here today. Uh, my name is Matthew Reddington, Director of Strategic Partnerships for NetGuardians. And I'm here to talk to you about our solution uh, and also about our experience with FusionFabric.cloud. But I'd like to start the presentation by asking you if you know who this lady is. OK, now you know. <laughs> Animation. This is Barbara Corcoran. Uh, I'm not sure if you watch the show Shark Tank, but uh, she's an investor, an entrepreneur, a uh, very sharp lady. And recently, just last week, Barbara was a victim of social engineering. A very smart woman like this uh, was tricked into making a payment to a fraudster's account. Um, so what happened was the fraudster used an email address very similar to her personal assistant. The story seemed uh, plausible, so uh, she went ahead and made that payment. And the payment was for almost $400,000. Now, I was thinking, if a smart lady like Barbara Corcoran can fall for a scam like this, you know, all of us can as well. And many of us are. For example, in 2019, 114,000 people in the US alone fell for the exact same scam. And there are many more scams, not just this one. There's a, even a scam around coronavirus now, many different types happening all over the US and all over the world. And this is the number one uh, growth area for fraudsters. They don't need to be uh, techies anymore with uh, advanced IT skills. All they need is uh, access to a computer, craft some well-written emails, something plausible, or uh, make some convincing phone calls. So we have all these fraud problems. Many of you probably have fraud issues as well. Um, but then how do we solve them? So NetGuardians, we're a specialist in fraud detection and prevention in the banking sector. We're highly integrated with Finastra, thanks to fusionfabric.cloud. And we address banking fraud internal fraud, payment fraud, digital banking fraud to our platform. NetGuardian's purpose is to help banks maintain their reputation and customer trust by effectively combating fraud. So our whole purpose is to stop these frauds from occurring and protect you, your bank and your customers. Because at the end of the day, if a fraud happens with one of your customers, they were scammed, you've got two choices as a bank to make. One is that you refund them recognizing that they've been conned. Or you say, I'm sorry, but that was your mistake. Liability is on you. But either way, you're losing, right? You either lose profitability if you're refunding the customer, or you're losing customer trust if you tell them you're not. So our whole mission is really to help you maintain that customer trust by combating fraud. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about our analytic approach. How do we do that? Um, now, Valentine's Day has just passed us by recently, and maybe many of you in the audience are looking for love. Um, I hope so. Um, and you might go onto a, a website someday, like a match.com, and you have cr your perfect criteria in mind. Say you ladies in the house, and you have the dream man. Uh, you want to find your Prince Charming on match.com. So you, you have these criteria that you enter. For example, you want to find a man who's similar age, 1948, uh, wealthy, of course, self-employed. He spends a lot of time in London because you like the UK. Uh, lives in a castle, why not? And has many pa passions just like yours. For example, travel, sports cars, fine wine, and socializing. So you run the search, and the results come up. So you have either Prince of Wales, maybe he's the, the, the man of your dreams, but also you have the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne. And if you don't know Ozzy Osbourne, he's a heavy metal uh, singer with the uh, lead singer of Black Sabbath. But these gentlemen, while they have many things in common, I'm sure you'll agree their behavior is very different. Um, so if you're not looking for the Prince of Darkness, we would call this a false positive in our business. And they're the ones that waste your time in investigating in, 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 in fraud context. So at Guardians, we provide a better approach. Rules are, are a traditional approach to fraud detection and prevention. But at Guardians, we leverage AI. And that enables us to spot the real frauds, capture more fraud than a rule-based system, and also reduce those false positives dramatically 
meaning that your bank can save money and time and provide a better customer experience. We did a, a, a case study with the bank uh, last year, and we ran our solution side by side against their well-tuned rule-based system for a period of 12 months. And in summary, NetGuardian's system was able to detect 18% more fraud and block it over their rule-based system while reducing the number of block payments by 83% over that rule-based system. And again, that means 83% less investigations to do, huge cost saving in your back office, and for your customer experience, it's much better. They're not getting called time and time again uh, trying to with you trying to investigate the same, uh, same uh, hits. Also, we found that the time the investigators spent in investigating the hits that NetGuardian generated uh, was 93% less than the system they were currently using. So this meant that the user-friendliness tools in our system, uh, they were able to investigate and close those cases very quickly. So the upshot of that is that banks using NetGuardian's system can prevent more fraud with less resources and provide a much better customer experience. Let's walk through an example of a scam here. We have Jay. Uh, Jay has recently received an email. There's a fake invoice attached to the email. He believes he's really paying uh, one of his, his vendors. So uh, NetGuardians, uh, we look and we see that actually, you know, the, the computer is normal, all this stuff is normal about Jay, but the payment behavior is very different. For example, he's never sent money to this beneficiary before. That's one thing. He's never sent money to this country before, Cyprus, okay? Uh, the bank processing the payment has also never sent money to this beneficiary account before. Uh, the order type is strange. The day of the week is not the normal day when Jay usually processes his payments. And there are many other things that NetGuardians can see that are strange about this transaction. So using our behavioral analytics and AI approach, we're able to assign the transaction a high fraud score and temporarily uh, block that transaction. Now as an investigator, we get an alert and we have to review that alert in the case management system. So we provide a case management system where the uh, user can go in and look at the case that's been generated. They can see all the individual uh, parameters around the transaction and what looks suspicious about that transaction in one uh, nice, easy to use screen. If they want, then they can also do a deeper dive into the NetGuardian's forensic dashboard. And this will enable them to look back at uh, Jay's historical behavior, all the stuff he's done in the past, uh, and compare that to this current transaction. Uh, and then if they believe and they contact Jay and they, they understand it's a fraud, they can close the case and that transaction gets canceled. So fraud is a feature. Uh, you will have heard my colleague Joel talk earlier on stage about um, fraud as a feature. Um, the challenge with many banks today is that you want to access this technology, uh, innovative fraud solutions that you know, drive value in your business. However, the challenge has always been that uh, you have to screen many companies, uh, you have to perform due diligence, then there has to be a whole integration, and all this can take a very long time. A period from anywhere six months would be a very minimum, but more likely a year, year and a half. And NetGuardian's approach is really to offer fraud as a feature in technology. So we're fully integrated with uh, Fusion Global Pay Plus and Fusion Fabric, among some other Finastra products, enabling you as banks access to this technology very, very quickly. We're not anymore talking about you know, a year, we're talking about a few weeks. And that means that you can get value from a product, protect your customers and your own reputation very, very quickly through a, a fintech which Finastra has already screened, done the due diligence for you, uh, and done all that, uh, all that screening. So here, uh, in this setup, Finastra is actually hosting our solution. They're managing the application. Uh, they're providing support. And all of this is also signed on Finastra paper making that very, very easy for your company to activate the solution quickly. So um, in to, to look at the, the total cost of ownership in going to market looking for a solution versus 
selecting NetGuardian solution, which is already pre-integrated with GPP, um, there's a number of benefits. For instance, firstly, all the, solu the solution, you can reduce the number of false positives, detect more fraud, provide a better customer experience, and in, in a number of weeks. Explainable AI for business users means that the users who are accessing our solution can investigate things very quickly, easily, uh, and their job is, is, is much faster to do, leaving them time for other value-added things in the business. Uh, we provide ready-to-run risk models, so uh, we're not coming like a consultant to learn from you. We already have our models packaged, we know they work, and we can tune them uh, with your data. And I think most importantly then is our integration with Fusion Fabric. Uh, so here, we've already integrated our solution, meaning we don't have to integrate it into your bank. If you're using Fusion GPP, the solution is a turnkey solution. We just have to configure the users, import some historical data, um, but only that takes a few weeks. That means that you have a tremendously fast go live. You can, as I said, get the value from the solution very, very quickly, protect your customers and your bank. There's a low level of latency. Because our solution is hosted in the same environment your payments are being processed, the scoring is sub-second done extremely quickly, and it's not going to be an impediment to processing those payments. Then support. So Finastra are also providing support on that Guardian solution, first and second level. If there's a support issue, Finastra are very well equipped to understand what the issue is. They have a full view across the payment journey from GPP all the way to NetGuardian solution. They're very well equipped to find a problem and solve it right away. And the thing I like the most about this solution is seamless upgrades. When you upgrade Fusion GPP, NetGuard you don't have to come back to NetGuardians, ask us to migrate our solution over to the new version, project management, consultancy costs, all that, which you would do today with many other vendors. It's free for you. It's already done. We integrate with all of the new versions of GPP, so you don't, you don't have to pay NetGuardians any additional money for that. As soon as you go live on your new version, NetGuardians is seamlessly working with that new version. So uh, all these benefits you can access today with NetGuardians through fusionfabric.cloud. Um, from my perspective, uh, it enables NetGuardians to achieve our purpose of helping banks maintain their reputation and customer trust. It helps us do that with many banks uh, all around the US and the world uh, and achieve our, our, our mission. Um, so if uh, you banks today, some of you out here do have some issues with fraud and you would like to solve them quickly, please do get in touch with Joel and I. Uh, we'd be very happy to help you.